Okay, another genetics video for all of you people that have been absent lately. We're going to talk about multiple alleles today, also known as blood typing problems. All right, so um, I'm going to let you read your notes on your own. Uh, I think I actually want to start with these bottom four bullet points. There's four blood types, type A, type B, type AB, and type O. You, like everybody else, inherits two alleles for your blood type, one allele from mom, one from dad. Now, this is important. The A and B alleles are dominant to the O allele, so that means that the O allele is recessive. And then the A and B alleles are not dominant to each other. All right? So keep those in mind. Now the key to doing a blood typing problem is filling out the key properly. Please memorize this key as is when you do your genetics problems and um, you should be fine if you do. Phenotype on the left, genotype on the right. Phenotype are the types of bloods of blood. Please write the word type before each one when you are filling out your own key which you will be doing from time to time. All right, now, if you're type A blood, you could have gotten an A allele from one parent and another A allele from your other parent. Or you could have gotten an A from one parent and an O from one from your other parent. Both of these will give you type A blood. The O is recessive to A, so this is a type A genotype. If you're type B blood, you could get a B from one parent, B from the other parent, or you could get a B from one parent and an O from the other parent, and that gives you a B-O. Sorry for you. Uh, if you're type AB blood, you get an A from one parent and a B from the other. You know your genotype if you are type AB blood. If you're type O blood, uh, you get an O from one parent, O from the other, so you are O-O. And yes, you know your genotype as well, right? Memorize this key. Be able to write the whole thing, starting with your heading. Make a simple T-chart and then fill everything in. All right, I'm going to get you started on this. Cross a type O person and a heterozygous type B person. Doesn't tell you who mom and dad is. Doesn't matter. So we will start out by having made our key cross a type O person. So we start by writing the genotype of Ma and Pa. I'm going to make Mom the type O person. So her genotype is OO. Dad's genotype is, it says he's heterozygous type B, so BO. Dad has BO. Could I have made Pa um, type O and Ma type BO, or sorry, BO genes? Yes. All right, doesn't matter who mom and dad is. Our second step is to do the sex cells. So um, mom's sex cells, we got an O allele and an O allele. Dad's sex cells, we got a B in one of the types of sperm and an O in the other. Next step, do your Punnett square. Make it nice and big. I'm going to put my eggs here my sperm here. All right, join them together. My first kid is going to have genotype BO. Second kid, BO. Third kid, OO. Fourth kid, OO. And so now my, if I look, I got two kids like this, two kids like that, two type B children, two type O children. My geno and pheno ratio, I'm going to write it out, geno ratio and pheno ratio. Okay, notice we're having to write out our steps here. We've got to know them all. All right, my genotypic ratio is I've got 50% BO. I'm going to just write two of my kids are BO to two OO. And then I've got two type B to two type O. Notice I didn't say anything like type uh, B heterozygous. 
that would be incorrect because you don't want to give any genotypic info in your phenotypic ratio. So um, just make sure that if you don't know what to write that you'll look at your key. This tells you what to write in your genotypic ratio, sorry, in your phenotypic ratio, and this side would tell you what kinds of things to write in your phenotypic ratio. Scratch that, I'm sorry, I'm not going to redo this whole video. Um, this side is your, for your phenotypic ratio, this side is for your genotypic ratio, okay? All right, that's your start. I'm not going to do this other one. Um, you can move on from there. All right, thank you.